And now to some concerning news about our state's most valuable resource, water. The Department of Water Resources final snow survey out of the season is out today and its numbers are not showing any promise. Now the state must prepare for a third straight year of drought. Today's survey recorded a snow depth of 2.5 inches and only one inch of snow water content, which is 4% of the average this time of year. The statewide snowpack sits at just 38% of average to date, and many of the state's reservoirs are still at below average levels, with California's largest reservoir, Lake Shasta, at just 38% full. The statewide reservoir storage is at just 48% of the system's total capacity. Now, April 1st is traditionally when our snow water content peaks. Yet this year, California's snow water content peaked in mid-January. And of course, this could all impact everyday tasks like drinking, bathing and farming for millions living in the Golden State. You see Scott Withers has more on what this could mean for you and explains it's not just a worry here in California. California Sierra Nevada mountains, breathtaking. The snow cap peaks. Well, those peaks, less snow packed than they should be. The winter started out with a blizzard of snow, 17 feet falling in December, almost setting a record. It was exactly what the Golden State and the Western U.S. needed after two years of drought. But then it stopped. January, February, March, normally the wet season, now the driest on record. The storms early in the season really did help, and that's kept things from being catastrophically dry, but it's still very dry and a very critical situation. The snowpack dwindled as did the hopes of snapping the mega drought. I think things are going to be more difficult than they were last year. At Phillips Station, the official snowpack measurement site near South Lake Tahoe, the measurements dropping from 202% above average after the December snows to just two thirds of the normal measurement last month. Across the state, the same. The snow disappearing quickly, month to month. This is definitely a third year of drought for pretty much all of California. California needs the snow to melt, but not yet. The state gets a third of its water from the snowpack. It runs down the mountainside and makes its way into the reservoirs. Many of those reservoirs already below normal levels. It's going to be like last year, maybe not quite so bad in some places, maybe worse in, in a few places. 58% of the country in some level of drought, 100% of California suffering. Third year of drought at this level and magnitude is really kind of unprecedented for modern California. It's not alone. Nevada and Utah also completely in the grips of the mega drought. Federal officials already cutting back water distribution to farmers this year. Some watersheds curtailments will start far earlier and that will have, I think, a more significant economic impact for growers. And state officials making their plans for the year based on the state's final snowpack measurement, which is likely going to be low. 